Hi, I'm Paul Verhoeven and you're watching Down For The Count and today we are talking Harry Potter. We love, love, love Harry Potter. So imagine our shock at realizing that the prisoner of Azkaban has turned 15 years old. Then naturally we started arguing over which Potter film was the best of the bunch, which in turn led to us ranking all of them for you. So here it is, our definitive countdown of the best Harry Potter movies. Number eight, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Look, it's not that we hate the Chamber of Secrets, but it does have some shonky child acting. It has the worst characters in Harry Potter history, Moaning Myrtle, Gilderoy Lockhart, Dobby, making their debuts, and the finale is a bit meh. To be fair though, everything that happens in this installment is super important later in the series. Number seven, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. The beginning of the end of the Harry Potter story is a heck of a movie, but it's super depressing and the pacing is off. Hey, do you like magic? Do you like wizards and adventure? How about 90 minutes of your favorite characters trapped in a tent? Number six, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The scene where Harry takes the Felix Felicis and has a really great run of luck is one of the funniest sequences in the whole Harry Potter saga, to be honest. Have you ever talked to that one guy at a party who is having like a really good time? That's Harry Potter in the Half-Blood Prince. Number five, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now, we're gonna overlook these shocking performances by the now super talented trio of heroes because hey, this is where the magic started. Fun fact though, it's called the Sorcerer's Stone in America because publishers thought that American kids were too stupid to know what philosophers were. They were right. Number four, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two. They could have totally messed up the finale to the series, but they did really, really manage to stick the landing. It's also the only film in the series that has an old man and a teenager staring at a fetus in a train station. Don't hear that every day, do you? Number three, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The Goblet of Fire is, well, it's magical, but it's also introduced us to Cedric Diggory and therefore Robert Pattinson, which to be fair, inflicted the Twilight series on us, which might be why this movie didn't make number one on this list. Hickory dickory damn! Number two, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The darkest of the series, but also the movie that features the super vital plotline around Harry's gorgeous godfather, Sirius Black. A heartbreaking entry into the Potter saga, but it's so, so good. Also, all the kids wore cardigans. And I love a good knit. Number one, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The best of the Harry Potter series. The Prisoner of Azkaban was the moment the movies went from colorful and childlike to dark and complicated. Better acting, amazing scripting, terrific pacing, and Hermione punching Draco right in the kisser. And it's full of time travel, so it's basically back to the future with wizards. Just replace Doc Brown with Dumbledore, Hermione with Marty, and Draco with Biff. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today's episode of Down For The Count. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.